said you wanted to come here and kind of clear some things uh, up. I do. What, yeah. what specifically did you want? Well, there's Jesus, all kinds of rumors about, you know, what happened and, you know, whether drugs were involved, you know, steroids. And, and uh, I just know what I've been told. They had a, a very hard look at and, uh, and I think that it was a, uh, it was certainly a workout that my son's never had anything like that before. And uh, I think, you know, probably after the long layoff, it blew up some guys. And, uh, and you know, I also wanted to let everybody know, I know this sounds nuts, but as a parent, especially 900 miles away, I am so thankful that... Uh, I had the kind of contact with the coaches that I've had. I mean, that I, I, again, I've spoken to Kirk at least at least five times, and then to his position coach, Daryl Wilson, all the time. And I'm also I'm very thankful for that, and I'm very thankful also that I, having the hospital here is a you know, I know it's a big comfort and. Uh, you know, we always thought, well, maybe it would be a knee injury that he'd be in there or something like that. But it's a huge comfort. And the people there, I can't express to you enough how kind they've been. And they've been all over them. You know, and explaining it to us, you know, the parents. And I'm very thankful for that. I really am. In your opinion, after talking with your son over the weekend, did you think that he should have been going into such a strenuous workout on a Monday? Do you think the training staff could have done a little bit more? Geez, you hate to throw anybody under the bus. I think I think that what, what I honestly think is that everybody kind of felt like hard workout, of course you're going to be sore, kind of work through this. And I think, I think that's a reasonable kind of take. Are you going to feel totally comfortable with Jim going back to the team? Oh, my gosh, yes. I have to tell you, I've, as a high school coach, I've um, I've sent over 80-some kids to play Division One football. And... Uh, um, you got. I mean, let me just say. I'll say. It, talking to high statements. I. I do not trust anyone more than I trust Kirk Ferentz. My my son had a chance to go to Texas to Ohio State. They were the last three in Iowa, and he came to Iowa because of the character of Kirk and his people. And that to me, that, that's rock solid. 